Did you know beloved Wawa has links to my home country of England? I'm standing outside of Wawa's thousandth store. This opened up just a few months ago in Oakland, New Jersey with a huge celebration. Most family businesses don't survive a third generation, but Wawa is clearly doing something right. And since JFK Living is a family-run business, why don't we share Wawa's story? The business began not as a convenience store, but actually as an iron foundry founded in 1803. 100 years after that, it became a small dairy farm in Wawa, Pennsylvania, and would deliver milk to the surrounding community. Then in 1964, they opened up the very first Wawa food market in Folsom, PA. Now modern day Wawa has developed a devoted following, appearing in TV shows such as The Mayor of Easttown, and Johnny Knoxville from Jackass actually has a Wawa tattoo. But did you know its history actually dates back to England. The story behind Wawa starts with Richard Wood. In 1682, Richard was part of the 17th century Quaker immigration to the lower part of the Delaware Valley. He moved from Bristol, England to this area. The family found big success in real estate, farming, finance, and other industries. In fact, they were so successful in 1830, they actually outsourced work to Abraham Lincoln. It was one of Richard's great, 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 great descendants who actually opened the dairy farm in Wawa, PA. And George's grandson was the one to bring the Wawa store to fruition. Unfortunately, that first Wawa store is no longer open. It closed in 2016 and a brand new Super Wawa was built right across the street. In fact, a parade was held from the original store to its new location on the day. Do you love Wawa or do you think it's overrated? Tell me in the comments. I'm Pip from Real Estate Team JFK Living. If you'd like to know more about buying or selling in South Jersey, you can call or text me at 609-500-9733. Just remember, this is Living, JFK Living.